Once upon a time, there was an old couple living up in the mountains. They had a farm there, not too big, not too small. Had it been bigger, it would have been too much work for the two people. Had it been smaller, not enough to live on. Their most precious possession was a cow. Now, we all know there's many stories about good-looking princes and handsome princesses. Or was it beautiful princesses and good-looking, handsome princes? Anyway, there are also very good-looking cows in this world. And this cow, I will say she, and in the end of the description you will know why, had shining fur and big, dark, deep eyes with long eyelashes. And around her dark eyes, to make them look even darker, she had some very light fur. And the milk she gave, this is why she's a she, the milk she gave was most delicious and nutritious. And the cow was also so beautiful because the old man and the old woman, they loved her. And you know how it is when you love somebody, that one becomes more beautiful just because of it. One day, the couple was invited to a wedding, and the wedding was in the next valley. It was so far away that it was not possible to go there and come back in one day. So it was clear only one of them could go because one had to stay at home and milk the beautiful cow. But they both really wanted to go. The woman, well, she said because of all the dancing, but it was also because of all the chatting. And the man, he said because of all the food, but it was also because of all the drinking. It is not always like that in this world. I know women who like to eat, and men who like to dance, so not very many. But in this case, it was like it. She wanted to dance, he wanted to eat. So they started to argue, who can go to the wedding, and who has to stay at home to milk the cow? When a couple has been married for such a long time, they have a lot of practice in arguing. They are very good at it. So. One always answered to what the other one would be saying in five minutes. And he went back and forth and back and forth and he could have gone on like this for a long time. And it did for quite some time. But then they both thought. And when you have been married for such a long time, you think at approximately the same speed. And they both thought, if we keep arguing now, the musicians will have gone home. The food will be eaten. So they stopped and did not say anything for a moment. I tell you, in any argument, this is the best moment, because not talking, you can think better. And the woman said, I have an idea. Let us ask a third party. Let us have somebody else decide about it. The man looked at her, shaking his head, because the next neighbor up in the mountains is not close by. But she said, no, 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 let us, let us ask the speaking mountain. The speaking mountain should decide. To that the man agreed, and they went to the mountain. And the man, he said, I want to ask first. Because, you know, men like to be the first. But us women, we know the first is not always the best. So the woman said, go ahead. And the man went and he asked, should I go to the wedding or stay at home? Stay at home, 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 is what the mountain answered. And just to make sure, the woman asked too, but she said, should I stay at home or go to the wedding? Go to the wedding, the wedding, wedding. And that's what they did. 